Welcome to Azure Reference Architecture uh, series. In this episode, we are going to discuss the network architecture or network design. Prior to this, if in case if you have missed, uh, we discussed about the application high level requirement, and then we discussed the uh, Azure architecture or the Azure blueprint based on the application high level requirement. And then um, this is the Azure blueprint uh, looks like and also discussed about how many resources we need for this uh, reference architecture uh, series, which we are talking about. And we also discussed the, uh, so the security design where uh, different uh, security services, uh, the Azure services used uh, throughout this series. And now we are going to discuss the network architecture. So this is how the network architecture uh, looks like. Um, uh, for my uh, reference architecture, I'm talking about so in this uh, network architecture, I'm going to have the separate uh, virtual networks, which is part of the subscription. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I will be having a separate uh, subscriptions for each environment, one subscription for day, one subscription for test, one subscription for production. And accordingly, I will have a separate subnets with the uh, Azure resource group. So. Let's talk about a little bit about the VNet. VNet is the fundamental uh, building block of your private network because you are actually sitting in a public cloud and you are actually making your uh, environment uh, private. So that's where the VNet uh, comes into the picture. So this VNet uh, enables uh, many types of uh, services such as you know your virtual machines or your app service environment, API management, application gateway, and storage account or SQL server, et cetera. Two, uh, basically this VNet enables you to uh, securely communicate each other, uh, securely communicate to on-premise, securely connect to the uh, internet. So that's the primary purpose of the virtual network. So we are going to discuss more in details during the actual implementation about the address spaces, how many, how to calculate the address spaces, some of the networking uh, concepts. But at this point, whatever we are discussing is the high level design. And then we actually going to do the implementation based on this high level design. So I'm still in the high level design uh, track. And one, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the DevOps and then start the actual implementation. So in this network diagram, if you see, I'm going to have a separate subnet. So I'm uh, very high level one VNet. I'm going to use one VNet. But uh, this diagram shows the multiple VNets just for the demo purpose. Uh, but I'm going to have one VNet with the proper address spacing calculation so that I can also do in the future, connect to the on-premise, connect to another uh, virtual network within the same region or virtual network within the different region. So uh, as I mentioned, the address space calculations makes a very important key role uh, when you are actually creating the networking. So this networking, like if you have experience with the on-premise networking, so it is easy to understand. But at this point, uh, to fulfill this design, this high-level architecture, I'm going to have one subnet for the uh, gateway. So this is the default subnet you will see when you create the virtual network. So you cannot alter this name. So it's going to be the same uh, subnet. And then uh, the second subnet I need for keeping my application gateway secure. You see that application gateway is uh, in a separate subnet with the network security group. And this is where I'm going to actually configure the firewalls where the request will be coming from and also where the request will be going to. So the next one, I need a separate subnet for my app tier. Um, so the, the address space is going to be different for this subnet and then other one, I need another uh, subnet for the API management to keep the API management secure. And for the back backend app tiers, I'm going to have a separate uh, net, a subnet with the network security group with the separate address space. And then uh, the sixth one for the storage account and also seventh one for the database all my uh, SQL Server database is going to sit in a separate subnet and it is going to be protected uh, using the network security groups. You see all these connections. So these connections means 
API gateway can talk to only the app tier, app tier can talk to only the API management, API management can talk to the, uh, uh, the backend app tier. So from the backend app tier, you will have a connection to the storage account, connection to the, uh, the database, the SQL server, or in case if you have any um, third party services, the backend tier will talk to the third party services also. So I will also be creating a separate uh, subnet for uh, my jump server. So all my developers are going to log into this jump server, the Baston host. Uh, you see the Baston host a separate jump server that is going to be uh, in a separate subnet. So the address spaces created as part of the, uh, the reference architecture is more scalable even in the future if you want to add more subnets, uh, you can uh, keep adding the more subnets uh, uh, as per the address space uh, convention. So as I mentioned, we will discuss those address space details in the uh, next uh, video so that uh, you will be able to understand uh, how this high level architecture is actually going to be implemented. So I'm also keeping uh, in the future if I want to connect to my, uh, you know, virtual, there is a separate virtual network, let's say in a different region, um, I'm going to use the VPN to VPN connection for connecting to the v virtual network I'm creating with the uh, future virtual networks with a different region. If it is in the same region, make sure that we can use the peer to peer communication to connect to two VNets. That means you should be careful in creating the address spaces so that the peer-to-peer -peer will work in the future. The other one is the on-premise, let's say in the future, if I are like, you know, if there is an on-premise data center, if I want to connect through the site-to-site uh, -site VPN or uh, the privately using the express route, that is also possible with this uh, high-level architecture. So I hope uh, this high-level architecture uh, makes sense, again, um, wanted to bring this uh, end of the, uh, the episode that uh, I always uh, welcome feedback, make sure that, uh, you know, uh, if there are any things I need to improve for the next videos, that's going to be helpful. If you like, uh, you can subscribe, like, or share this video if possible. And also, uh, if you are seeing that uh, if it is too fast or too slow, you can use the uh, video uh, playback speed in the YouTube. Um, again, the reference architecture guide uh, I'm talking about here as part of the series is more suitable for startups and uh, medium scale companies. But if you are looking for the enterprise level, so that's going to be another series uh, for the enterprise level Azure architecture. So uh, this is only for the startups and mid scale, uh, medium scale companies. If you are looking for more details, uh, you can look at this website. I'm also always going to keep the information up to date in the website. Um, you can always find latest information there. Thank you very much. Uh, stay in touch with me.